Well, we are hearing from a state senator tonight who is pushing to build a new veterans living facility in Cumberland County. This is because of the abrupt shutdown of the North Carolina State Veterans Home in Fayetteville. CBS 17's Justin Moore is live tonight. And Justin, some state lawmakers believe the current facility can be repaired. Yeah, some state lawmakers believe that facility, which is uh, down the hill behind me, can be repaired, while others say no way. I hate to see this home uh, um, leave here. Um, as I mentioned, we come here during the holidays. We bring gifts to veterans who have no one else. State Senator Val Applewhite is talking about the closing of the North Carolina State Veterans Home in Fayetteville. Thursday, the facility will cease operations. But we need to make sure that this doesn't happen. The facility sits in a valley down the hill from the VA Medical Center in Fayetteville. Over the years, it has absorbed water from the flooding, causing structural damage. We do know that it's not far from the Cape Fear River. We do know that the location takes on runoff from the VA hospital. And what the inspection showed is that the water was not just coming from the roof, it was underneath the facility. 85 residents forced to relocate with a 60-day notice. We weren't given enough time to really make a sound decision, and I think a lot of the others are finding that out. Some Republican state lawmakers believe the facility can be repaired. Applewhite wants to build a new facility in Fayetteville on better ground. I will reach out to our mayor, Mayor Colvin, our county commissioners, whatever we have to do to be able to keep this home um, uh, here in Fayetteville, if there's one thing that we should not politicize is the health and well-being of our veterans. Now, the General Assembly's Oversight Committee uh, on Government is having hearings in Raleigh on this matter. Now, I was told by the state that the last resident here is uh, supposed to move by the end of today. Live in Fayetteville, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News. All right, Justin, thanks for that update.